Welcome back to the channel guys. This is Cam from Edmunds Woodshop. Today we are going over a brand new laser that I do not have in the shop yet. And as a matter of fact, it's a five watt UV laser that I happen to have right here. It is the Calm Marker Omni One. So I'm gonna quickly get this unboxed. We're gonna show you the contents inside. We're gonna put it together and then we're gonna get to testing. So real quick, for those wondering about the dimensions of the box and the weight, I did take the measurements of the box and then the weight was already on the shipping label. So right here, I have it written down for you. The weight was 34 kilograms or 75 pounds overall. And then the dimensions is 37 inches in length, 18 and a half inches in width, and then 15 inches in height. So the Omni One comes with all these different accessories that you see here. And what I particularly like is that each box is individually labeled. So if you need to find something quickly, it's easy to do that. So for example, this is an extra lens that comes with the unit. This is a 70 millimeter lens, allows you to have a smaller spot size, where on the unit itself is a 150 millimeter lens. You'll have a lifting table right here. You'll have a foot switch. You have your accessories kit that includes cables, hex keys, and bolts. You have your goggles. You have a USB flash drive that has your drivers and your free EasyCAD software on there. Now, what I highly recommend is using the paid software Lightburn. Again, it is paid, but it is super user-friendly, and that's what I'll be using for this video. You'll have a viewing paddle. And so what this allows you to do is it allows you to see where you're framing on your design or on your workspace, uh, where it might be particularly hard to see without this. You'll have your ruler to help set up your focal distance. And then of course, you'll have your materials kit. So what I like about this is that you don't see materials like this come with units all the time. So they provide several different types of materials that range from uh, anodized aluminum uh, business cards you have Baltic birch, paper, felt, you have rings, dog tags, and then necklace accessories. So a bunch of different types of materials to test. We're gonna be using some of these for the video and then some different ones as well. Okay, so now that we have everything put together, we are ready to power on the base and power on the laser switch, which is just behind the lens itself. On the lens, you'll see a piece of tape that says focal length. Mine says 332. Every time you go to set up a project, to engrave a project, you're gonna to wanna to set that focal distance. That's the space between the lens and then the top of your work material. Here I'm using the motorized up and down buttons just to adjust to that 332. And then I'm gonna move the aluminum card back underneath the lens. So I'm starting off our test with a photo engraving or an image engraving of the Incredible Hulk. And the settings that I used are here off to the side, but what I wanna point out is that Car Marker actually has a material library uploaded onto that flash drive that I showed you earlier and you can simply upload it to your material library in Lightburn. Now check out the results on this black business card compared to this blue business card that I did earlier. And I like the settings on this one much better. Now with that being said, your settings may vary between color to color. 
Now, I've been in the Army for about 17 years now, and I get asked to engrave these K-bars. Now, I usually do them on a fiber laser, but with the UV laser, it does quick work of the job. And if you haven't picked up what a K-bar is, it's just one of these black coated knives that make for perfect engravings and giving away as gifts. Next up is a leatherette notepad where I'm engraving my first initial and last name. And what I'm trying to achieve here with these settings is a clean engraving that doesn't leave any sort of overburn or doesn't smudge when I go to clean it. So when we zoom in here, we'll see that it's very clean, doesn't need any cleanup. There is markings just because it's a used notepad, but overall the engraving is very clean. So here we're testing out the UV laser on maple hardwood. And I'm just testing out an idea where we use like the Thor hammer concept, where we give away uh, going away plaques for, for soldiers leaving the unit. Now I do wish that the engraving was a little bit darker, but this is probably where the, the settings could be optimized. Now, I did want to show this just because I was not successful with it. And maybe you guys will. Uh, but this is where I ran several passes. Maybe I wasn't aggressive with it enough, but I'm just trying to do mine and my wife's initials. And zooming in here, you can see that uh, I was able to mark it, but I wasn't able to get any sort of depth. So user experience may vary. So this is where I was most excited about getting a UV laser, which was engraving into glass. Now CO2 lasers, which I have plenty of, they don't engrave into glass very well because they kind of just chip away at the glass, where the UV laser will actually engrave into the glass cleanly. Now I just engraved my last name here, but zooming in, you can see how clean this looks. So as a final test of capability, let's see if we can engrave into this piece of rice. That is a grain of rice with my last name on it, ladies and gentlemen. That just tells you the capability and the spot size of this UV laser. So check out the grain of rice and this can of Red Bull for size reference. All right, guys, so I know that was a ton of materials to go over, but I just wanted to show the versatility of the Omni One. Um, but I do want to point out what I said earlier in the video is that Calm Marker provides that material setting library. Now, this is important because when you're a new user in the industry or a new user with, with whatever machine, whether it's a CO2, whether it's a UV laser, whether it's a fiber laser, it's finding settings that are specific to that laser with the material that you're trying to use, right? Sometimes you're, you're wasting time trying to find the setting that you want or wasting material because you're you're testing all those different settings. What Calm Marker does is they take that guesswork out of it and they give you that library here on this flash drive. So um, another resource that I want to point out too is maybe that maybe that material is not on that flash drive. Well, if you go to calmmarker.com and there's a little learn tab at the top of the website, you can go to the material library and then you can pick. Omni One, and it expands on more materials that might not be onto the flash drive. They continuously update it and they keep it updated, which is uh, super handy when it comes to learning your laser. So saves you materials, saves you time, um, and it just makes the whole startup process with learning a new laser super easy. Now, lastly, if you're still watching this video, if you do end up getting a Omni One or any sort of Calm Marker product, I am an affiliate for Calm Marker. So if you want to plug in Edmunds Woodshop, that does help me out here on the channel, uh, but also gets you a discount too in the end. So uh, if you like what you see and you continue want to follow along, just go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you have any sort of questions with anything, I don't care what the question is, just leave it in the comment below and I will answer it. Um, but for now, we'll see you guys on the next video. All right, see you guys.